Okay, good morning everyone. I'm really glad to be here to give a presentation of our book. It is a case study about the challenges of developing and operating consulting blockchains. Uh, my name is Yan Zhe Wang and our team comes from Software Institute of Nanjing University. Uh, here I'm going to introduce our work in the following five parts. The first is an introduction. As a decentralized and shared ledger, blockchain ensures the benefits of immutability and non replication of transcription records among different parties. Generally, blockchain technology can be classified into three types, the public blockchain, consulting blockchain, and the private blockchain. And we are not going to talk about the private chain because it cannot be applied on a large scale. And compared with the public blockchain, the consultant blockchain has three advantages. It has fewer nodes and higher transcription speeds, it has better data privacy, and it has higher flexibility to recover from faults. Blockchain system is becoming more and more popular, and thus the software engineering practices of consulting blockchain should grow at a matching rate. However, from the aspect of software engineering, the new context of blockchain brings a lot of challenges to the application development. And this study aims to find out the current challenges of development and operation of consulting blockchain based system. And we also further explored the possible solutions and the directions to address the challenges we identified. And this is our methodology. We conducted an exploratory case study to understand the challenges and the possible solutions, and provide ideas and hypotheses for academic research in the near future. This case study was motivated by the following two research questions. Uh, and I highlighted the challenges and the potential directions to show the key point of the RQs, that is, we focused on the barriers of the blockchain-based applications in RQ1 and the possible solutions in RQ2. The, keys, uh, the case we selected is the full supply chain system for the traceability of architectural products uh, based on the consulting blockchain technology which is quite a typical and a successful project. And here is a review of the blockchain system. And it can be basically divided into three layers, the users and the applications layers, the consulting blockchain layers, and the organization's layers. And as we can see, the main problem tracking system facing is that the process involves multiple individuals and it is difficult to establish a multi-trust uh, multi relationship among these relevant parties. Uh, and they fully apply the blockchain to address the problem of architectural product quality tracking. Uh, the problem creates an immutable tracking channel on all links by recording data from those relevant, uh, relevant organizations, which simultaneously maintain a single data source and consistency of data records. The data were collected through two round exhaustive group interviews with practitioners who participated in the work of the food supply chain project. Uh, we designed a set of semi-structured interview questions to guide the dialogue between the researchers and the interviewees. The two round group interviews last for about three hours and the audio materials were then transcribed to textual documents. We analyze these documents through the widely used qualitative methods. And uh, during the process, we also used the NVivo, a uh, private tool for the qualitative analysis. Uh, the semantic analysis was used to manually find out the challenges and the possible solutions. The process was carried out independently, and we double checked the result. And the next is our findings. First of all, I'm going to introduce the development section. Uh, we, organized the, we organized the answers of RQ1 and RQ2 empires to have a better understanding of our findings. And the first one is requirement analysis and coordination. 
The consortium blockchain holds higher demands for requirement, and it has a background knowledge across multiple fields. Communication and coordination among different parties are usually time-consuming. And in these circumstances, an automated tool or a standard process can help them reduce the complexity of requirement analysis and coordination. The tool should automatically support the process of uh, requirement analysis, design, and decision in a collaborative way. The second is the architecture design. We need to carefully consider the features of blockchain and design the architecture to decrease the impact on quality attributes for the overall systems. For the full supply chain study, we find out that the key quality attributes are the interoperability, latency, and the scalability. But the uh, systematic support is still missing currently. And as mentioned by our one interviewee, microservice architecture may be able to deal with it. Before applying this new architectural style to the design of the food supply chain system, we need to figure out many aspects, and an important point among them is the extent of the decomposition, and it is a problem of the trading off between the granularity and the performance. The next is the testing. The nature of a uh, consortium blockchain make it challenging to test the full supply chain system. It is more difficult to upgrade or modify the system, and second, it, it is also a challenge to establish an agreement on what to test and how to test it. Uh, and third, automated testing technologies are still needed to efficiently spot different levels of testing. Uh, for the first challenge, we can deliver a snapshot. There is also the scope to utilize formal verification techniques. But these technologies still need to be further studied. For the rest two challenges, automated tools and the SaaS implementing a DevOps strategy uh, may be the potential solution because they can provide an effective testing environment for consortium members and support the automated testing at different levels. And we are going to talk about the uh, integration in two aspects. And the first is the integration with the off-chain business modules. It is a challenge to achieve data communication between the on-chain and off-chain modules. And we might provide a base platform whose SDKs can help developers connect the on-chain and the off-chain modules easily. The next is the integration with the heterogeneous blockchains. The problem is that the supply chain system may include multiple heterogeneous chains among different consortia, and an inter-blockchain connection model is really helpful. To be more specific, the possible solutions are first, heterogeneous blockchains can communicate with each other through a standard transcation, and second, uh, cross-chain transcations can be transferred by nodes in the router blockchain. And third, also, transcations can be transferred in a peer-to-peer -peer way without any third party. And here is a deployment. The consortium blockchain in the food supply chain system is very long because of the complex business logic. Uh, and it is a trouble to deploy such a long chain system. And we might design and deploy smart contracts using microservice and the containers, which can help reduce the burden of the uh, the burden of deployment in a modularized way. Uh, this part we are going to talk about the operation section. The first is the monitoring. Consultant blockchain plays higher demands on monitoring and visualization in terms in terms of many aspects like performance, availability, and security. Uh, what to monitor and how to monitor are still waiting for a unified and effective solution. And in fact, they require a, they require a standard and a customized framework which can integrate the data, provide an effective visualization. This framework should be modular and should support deployment topologies which can enable monitoring at different levels of the system. Uh, once the blockchain system is, de is deployed, 
it is quite hard to be modified. So the full recovery of blockchains cannot be easily addressed by the traditional program debugging methods such as printing bugs. Uh, and the inconsistent data is also trouble because it is, it is difficult to decide uh, whether update the data or not or which version, which version of the data should be chosen. Our interviewees mentioned that there is a healing node can be designed when developing the blockchain to uh, uh, the healing node can detect and uh, feedback error information to specific modules. If the error is simple, the system can be repaired by itself, otherwise the maintenance engineers will be notified. This may be a potential solution and it still needs efforts and contributions in academia. And next is the discussion. Here I'm going to discuss some underlying implications refined from the findings. We noticed that the DevOps has drawn a lot of attention of practitioners and become the mainstream in industry. DevOps could address the requirement in terms of continuous testing, continuous integration, continuous deployment, and so on. It may be high potential to apply the DevOps to address the aforementioned challenges. The key point in the uh, the key point is uh, uh, the core concepts and activities of DevOps in the blockchain uh, in the blockchain in the blockchain domain uh, may not differ much from the from the traditional software. Uh, however, some features of blockchain may cause specific constraints that need to be considered. The next is the microservice. Uh, nowadays, organization, uh, nowadays, organizations migrate their crucial applications to the cloud, and microservice can decompose these applications into small service, uh, in a, into small service which are in a single business domain. Each microservice can be deployed, uh, developed, and scaled independently by a small team. And we can also try to decompose the blockchain system into small services and deliver digital products faster and uh, simplify application maintenance. This may also have its potential value, but there are still problems need to be solved like uh, how to suitably decompose the blockchain system or how to implement the microservices based, uh, based on the smart contracts and how to address the interoperability of smart contract microservices. And finally is our conclusion. Uh, blockchain, especially the consortium blockchain, is gaining popularity in the enterprise env environment. Uh, however, there is a lack of sound practice support from the perspective of software engineering, uh, which may cause a potential threat. And uh, in this study, we identified eight piles of challenges and solutions in different phases of developing and operating, uh, uh, operating the consortium blockchain-based systems. And based on the findings, we extracted the two valuable implications that is DevOps and uh, microservices for the blockchain. And finally, in the future, there is a lot of work to do. Uh, first, we should expand the sample of the case study and comparing the findings of different cases. Uh, second, we will also need to complement the evidence from other sources like uh, academic, le academic literature and the Gary literature. And third, we, <coughs> we will also need to conduct primary studies to practically address the two implications identified by this study. And that is all of my report. Thank you for your attention.